10 Ugliest Animals in the World Hello fellas, we welcome you all to another banging video on your favorite YouTube channel. We hope you must be having a good day, and to make it more happening, we're here. In this world, live many animals of many kinds, many species, many colors, and many more. You might have seen cute cats, beautiful birds, and colorful worms, but have you ever seen the ugliest animal? If not, then we'll show you 10 ugliest animals in the world in this video. So let's slide into the video. Number 1. Fruit Flies Beauty has no shape, yet people consider having good features as beauty. Some animals are not considered part of this society because they're not that beautiful. Well, let us take you to the ugliest animals, starting with number 1, which is the fruit fly. If any of you have seen fruit flies, you must note that they look like faceless dots. But when they're placed under a microscope, their ugly features are visible enough. They have dominant red eyes and unkempt hair whiskers around their crown complement their ugliness. Number 2. Mata Mata Turtle Turtles are such cute little babies, but when we talk about Mata Mata Turtles, they are not so cute, and the credit goes to their odd appearance. They have a long, wart-filled neck which is followed by an odd shell and a completely flat head that make them rest on the list of ugliest animals. In Spanish, their name means to kill. Not only are they ugly, but they are also the vicious creatures in their habitat. Their odd body completely melts in their surroundings, and their long, wart-filled neck helps them in hunting. So yes, not all ugly-looking animals are useless. Their features don't move them away from their motive. Number 3. Eye Eye Beauty is what you see with good intentions. But we have big scales to measure beauty, which is the nastiest thing to do. Aye Aye, it seems like Eminem's rap, but Aye Aye is the name of a creature who looks like gremlins. What makes them ugly is not just their open-eyed face, but also long witches-like fingers and big ears. Long fangs add more horror to their features. They are little primates that are only found in Madagascar. Have you ever seen an Aye Aye? If yes, then tell us in the comments below. Number 4. Warthog We'll continue the video, but before moving on, we want you to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications of freshly brewed videos anytime. Warthog is another ugly animal on the list. What makes warthogs ugly are the fleshy bumps on their body that make them ugly. But those ugly looking bumps act as armor to protect them during combat. They have large and balanced heads, which also look less attractive. Having two tusks, they resemble the rhinoceros but their body makes them look like mules or donkeys. Warthogs have two powers to control the prey, the tusks and the built-in arms. Well, what do you think giving anyone or anything the title of ugly is considerable or not? Number 5. Hyena Do you know hyenas or do you know the jokers of African savanna? Well, both of them are the same. I know it's lame, but I can't do anything with my lame jokes. Never mind. So hyenas are carnivores and have distinct bark that adds a spark to their ugliness. Hyenas are particularly red tags and have patchy hair on their body, enhancing their ugly features. Well, these features don't make them useful or wasteful. Like hunters who don't leave their prey, hyenas also don't get sympathetic towards their prey and never leave an inch of them. Being ugly does not mean you would leave your target and cry over your features. Hyenas can be covered in the category of cats more than dogs. Number 6. Monkfish Now it's the turn for number 6, which is the monkfish. Monkfish are you can call poor man's lobster or sea devil. Monkfish have large, wide mouths with a large body. They're smaller than water species. Having small, beady eyes add more complications to the features, and it easily comes in the category of ugliest animals in the world. It is said that the monkfish don't give a damn to aesthetic sensibilities because, to them, being alive matters more than being pretty. <laughs> That's savage. They're not floating animals. They live deep down inside the water and their looks are why they're called the devil of the sea. What do you learn from the monkfish? Being alive is more important than being pretty. Note it down, folks. Number 7. Blobfish Have you ever heard of this name before? The common answer would be no, because the blobfish are not really known to the public. Blobfish have a slimy body with imbalanced features, and due to that, they're called ugly. Beauty standards are even hitting the animals so hard. Well, 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 these fishes live around antipodes. They were not well known until 1926. The scientists classified them then. They live in a faraway region, and so not many people, but in 2003, they were caught in an expedition. And from there, people started to know it and categorized it under beauty standards and 
shamelessly declared Blobfish an ugly creature. Blobfish are thinking, what did I do to be in this hell-like world? <laughs> Number 8. Naked Mole Rat Number 8 is the Naked Mole Rat. The name is so because apparently they look naked. Looking naked does not mean that they are completely nude. They have hundreds of tiny hairs on their bodies. They live underground and are neither mole nor rats, but are closely related to a guinea pig, porcupine, and chinchillas. The hair on their body serves as navigation whiskers. They are blind rodents and live longer than any other rodent. They are closely immune to cancer. They are called ugly because of their body features, not having very prominent hair. Being blind, they live in underground colonies, and you won't find them very often roaming like other stray animals. They, however, are right to stay underground because if they start to roam like other animals, they will be killed for their features. Number 9. Vulture You might be known of the vultures, big birds that eat dead bodies. Vultures are overall a complete package of ugliness. They're not only called ugly because of what they do, but also their large size, their smell, and their features. The smell of the vultures makes them nastier. Their long, wrinkled head adds a spark to their unpleasant look. I don't judge anyone or any animal by their looks because they're all created by God and, and God is never unjust to any of his creatures. If he made them ugly, he added some additional features for compensation. You guys tell me in the comments below, do you judge someone on the basis of their looks? Or do you judge them by their personalities? Number 10. Bedlington Terriers You must know about many great and beautiful dog breeds, but do you know about the Bedlington Terriers, the ugliest dog breed? These dogs don't match the beauty standards of the dogs and somehow look like sheep. They are mid-sized dogs that are so loyal to the people who love them. It proves that love does not see beauty. But this world does not accept the word ugly. Their strained profile, long snouts, and not-so-doggy face make them look like so. But by training and grooming them well, they can be turned into regals. Well, why change someone or something because of their looks? If they look not so attractive, let it be. In the end, what matters is love and loyalty. And trust me, loyalty is the real royalty. If one is pretty, not lovable and loyal, then sorry, that's the real ugly. To wrap up the video, we would say none is the ugliest because if we call them ugly, we're directly or indirectly cursing God's creation. We would ask you which of these animals you found the ugliest. If you feel any of these faces are similar to your friends, mention them in the comments. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your family and friends. We'll be back with another video. Keep loving and keep watching. Bye-bye.